Hey, how's it going guys? This is Zerai here. So finally, I've been gone for a few days. Not necessarily I've been gone somewhere, it's just that there was really nothing for me to talk about. But now we finally got information regarding Gosu Tsushima, uh, the director's cut of the Iki Island uh, story. I definitely have got to say that, you know, this brand new trailer that just recently released looks awesome and it's going to be incredible to get into the Gosu Tsushima once again. There's a blog page regarding it, uh, all the necessary information is going to be revealed. Of course, uh, that will be too much of spoilers, so do not worry. And personally, I wouldn't want to read out any of the spoilers. So, anyway, let's continue and get into what they're going to get, uh, you know, what we should experience from this Iggy Island DLC. It's been quite a year for the team at Sucker Punch and for everyone. Last July, we shipped Ghost of Tsushima while working from home. Since then, we've been overwhelmed with gratitude by the positive responses we receive from the players all over the world. One year later, Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut is set to be released on August 20th. We can't wait to share new stories of Jin Sakai with all of you. As part of the direct scud, you'll be able to play a new story expansion featured Jin, set on the Iki Island, with new locations to discover, characters to meet, tales to complete, and more. Jin's story begins when he discovers that a mysterious Mongol tribe has gained a foothold on Iki. They are led by a revered shaman called Anksar Khatun, known to her followers as the Eagle. As both Katun and Shaman, she is not only a conqueror of nations, but a shepherd of souls. And the danger she presents to Jin and his people is unlike any they have faced. The only way to counter this threat is for Jin to return to Iki Island. He's been there once before, and in confronting a new and dangerous enemy, he will be forced to face old fears, and unearth deeply buried traumas. As you explore a new island and battle new threats, you'll also delve into the dark past of Clan Sakai. Our semi-fictional version of Iki Island provides a stark contrast to Tsushima. It is a wild, lawless land of raiders and criminals, scarred by the memories of war, and fiercely independent. The samurai have not been in control there for decades. Skilled though he is, Jin can't take on Mongolians alone. He will have to work with or around a coterie of unsavory characters to take the fight to the eagle. The cost of failure is too high. If the eagle and her tribe subdue Iki and muster the support of its people, Tsushima and the rest of Japan will be in grave danger. The stories you find on Tsushima are filled with action and adventure. The same is true for Iki Island. In the fight to save Iki, Jin will encounter pirates and smugglers, mad monks and haunted caves. There will be new legends to hear and new techniques to learn. Jin will have to bring all of his skills to bear to defeat this new enemy. We'll also continue telling intimate, emotional, personal stories. Stories about real people struggling to let go of old hatreds and survive in a time of war. Stories about how it feels to be caught between preserving cherished beliefs and defending your home. What it means to be Lord Sakai and what it means to be the ghost. With everything that has happened this past year, it is no accident we've also wanted to tell a story of healing and we felt this would pose a unique and compelling challenge for Jin. We all suffered wounds, from the humblest farmer to the mightiest Jito, wounds from the past that we've carried with us. And the thing about the wound is that you can't fight it or stealth your way around it. Ghosts, weapons and samurai techniques won't help you. A wound can only be healed. The EK Island Story expansion will be available as a part of the Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. You're able to pre-order now for, well, as you can see. We are also thrilled that you will once again be able to experience our world through the eyes of Jin Sakai. It was a joy and a privilege to write for such a gifted cast. Some of you will recognize and some will surprise you, and maybe both. There's much more to tell, which we were excited to share leading to our launch on August 20th. And when you join us on Iki Island, bear in mind the advance of a wise woman named Yuriko. The strength we need is all around us. Looking around my team and what we have accomplished in this difficult year, I think she's right. And I think Jin Sakai would agree. Damn, that was actually very nice, very nicely written. 
Okay, okay, so basically this is more or less of a story continuation and what we should be expecting out of this uh, Iki Island DLC of Ghost of Tsushima. Now, it would be very curious, at least personally to me, to see how this will actually develop and, you know, as a continuation towards the story. Uh, but I want to see how far, how far away we actually can be able to experience this game compared to the you know to the original story and then to this DLC. I did hear about the rumors regarding that the story is going to be regarding you know fully completing like 100% up to 15 to 20 hours. If that is the case that's actually a lot of content especially if we have to consider the DLC pretty much costs $20 well, or 20 euros. And so you know it's up to you to decide if it's really worth it or not. 